come on in here. Let's talk about how you're going to get this funding. Okay. As you're coming in, go ahead and drop a money bag in the chat. Go ahead and drop a money bag in the chat. Because we're going to get this money. We are going to get this money. Yes, come on in here. We are going to get this money. Drop a money bag in the chat. <laughs> no matter what, I'm always going to give you guys a little bit of my vocals. Okay, let's see. Always go ahead and drop a money bag in the chat, y'all. Let's get right into it. So what I want to go over with y'all is how you're going to secure business funding this year, even with bad credits, okay? Because the reality is everyone deserves funding, all of you. And I want you to know that even, you know, regardless of what current financial situation you might be in, such as your personal credit, um, even wherever your business credit stands, there is still a way, okay? There is still a way to secure this funding, even with bad credit. You know, so much of the time we think that if we have bad personal credit that we're just stuck, our back is against the wall, we cannot do anything. But I want you to understand that that's not the case. Yes, personal credit is going to be helpful in many situations. And you do want to have good personal credit. This is not me telling you to live your whole life with a 500 credit score. No, we got to level up, right? We have to level up. But while you're in the process of getting your personal credit together, there are still ways for you to get your business funded. And this is why we got to think outside the box. Exactly. So I want you guys to comment for me in the chat, how much funding do you need right now? What is your number? Are we looking for $100,000, $50,000? Like what would be the amount of funding that you just could latch onto right now to go ahead and start making something happen? Hey, Sharice. Okay. I see you said 50,000, 150K, 25K. I feel like 50K is a very popular number, yes. 100K, 75K. I know, Majesty said her credit, is, her credit is shot. Listen, my credit was shot too, y'all. Personal credit is just one of those things, like it really takes time to get it right. Okay, Don says $100,000, all right, boom. So I want you guys to understand that you have options. So we're gonna go over a few places where you can get, uh, you know, business funding now, even with bad personal credit. But the first thing that I want you to really understand about this strategy is don't just assume that the lenders you find on Google, right, when you search business funding, nothing wrong with Lendio, nothing wrong with Fundbox, right? These are great places, but that's not the only place to get a business loan or a line of credit. We've got to be strategic and have multiple options. So one of the first things that you want to do in order to make sure that you're positioning yourself for funding, especially if you know you don't have the best credit, is you have to have a payment processor. You have to be using a QuickBooks, a Stripe, a Square, something that is uh, managing your payments and accepting your payments. You have to be using that. OK, because those programs are going to give you access to working capital. Those programs are going to give you access to working capital. So that is extremely important because working capital is not going to check your personal credit. So that's the first thing you need to do. If you've got your business, you're wanting to sell products, you're wanting to have a service, leave Cash App alone, leave Zelle alone, leave Venmo alone make sure that even friends family members if you're a startup business who want to support your business make sure they're paying your invoice make sure they're paying you through square make sure they're you know adding to cart online everything you can to keep your payments going through a payment processor because it only takes 60 to 90 days right two to three months for you to qualify for working capital and there's your first amount of funding right there working capital is not going to ask you to uh, run your credit they're not going to ask you for two years of tax returns 
It's not going to ask you for uh, six, nine, 12 months of bank statements. It's going to go based off of the volume of sales you're already processing and basically increase your loan on that. And then the way you pay it back is either by your percentage of sales for a period of time, whether that's a year, two or three years or more, or you're going to have a set fixed repayment plan that you decide. So I want you guys to comment working capital in the chat. Working capital. I'm going to show y'all an example. I posted a reel on this, but I wanted to show you guys the other one for $75,000 from QuickBooks. One student got $17,000 from Square in working capital, and then another is for $75,000 in working capital. And these are both no personal credit check loan opportunities. Let's pull this up. See, that's why I got too many pictures in my phone. Okay. So $75,000, okay? And the other was for about $18,000. Exactly. So that's the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your business is accepting payments in a way where these payment processors can then give you working capital for those payments. Because $75,000 with no credit check no documents, no uh, two years of tax returns, no 12 months of bank statements. That's what we want. You know what I'm saying? And the key thing is here, right? What do I teach you guys all the time? You want to make sure that you're securing funding so that you can get the bag, split the bag, and then flip the bag. Okay, GSF formula. That's what we're here to do. We want to make sure that we're getting the bag, which means we're securing the loan. We're splitting the bag, which means we're using a portion of the loan towards, which means we're using a portion of the loan towards our business, but the other portion towards an asset. And then we're flipping the bag by using some of this loan to purchase things like vending machines, put it towards real estate, purchase a car to put on churro, you want to be getting an income producing asset. So when you are able to access this funding, that's one of the first things you're going to do is yes, we're going to use this to grow our own business. But we also know that we have a plan to flip this money and use a portion of it to buy an asset that makes us more money. Because your money has to be making money for you, right? What I want you guys to understand when it comes to business funding, yes, it is so important for us to have this for our business, but we also have to look at it the way that the rest of society looks at it and namely white men who have been accessing funding for years and years and years, they always see OPM other people's money as an opportunity to make themselves more money. If you guys have ever read Rich Dad, Poor Dad or heard of the book, that's all he talks about. Leverage debt to make yourself rich. Use OPM, use funding to buy assets that make you more money. That's all it is. So the same strategy, right? Now we just have to make sure, okay, I understand the game. Now let me get in the game. And so the way you get in the game is by making sure that even with your credit situation, you're getting funding. Because I want you guys to understand that personal credit is important, but it's not going to hold you back. Even if some banks are going to want to check your personal credit, da, 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 let me make sure you understand something. This is a mutually beneficial relationship. So the same way that you want funding from them, they want to give you funding. The same way that you want money from them, they want to give you the money. Understand that. That lending system cannot function without someone to borrow to. So even if your credit is kind of like winky wonky, you know, hanging out in the 500s, the 600s, does that mean that you're completely unqualified to get money somewhere? No, because if that was the case, the lending institution wouldn't have as many of the clients as it has. Remember, yes, you need them, but they also need you. 
So this is why we have to understand how to properly position ourselves to play the game and go to the right sources for funding. Right, hello, go to the right sources for funding even despite where our personal credit is. So you guys need to know that you have options. All right, so that's tip number one. Make sure that you have a payment processor so that you can get this working capital. And the great thing with working capital loans is the interest rate is typically a lot lower than other traditional loans, so you're in the door. Now, the next place or the next way that you wanna make sure you're positioning yourself for a business funding, even with bad credit, is to look up microloans and CDFIs, okay? Now we're gonna go over this like in deep detail in my class on Thursday, free funding class, okay? I'm gonna drop the link for you guys to join. Um, the free classes always fill up quickly, but we still have some seats left. So my free class on Thursday, we're gonna be covering funding, grants, everything you need to do in 2024 to actually get the bag. But you want to be positioning yourself for microloans and CDFIs. Remember, like I said, you know, the big names that we see as soon as we Google business funding, those are great places too. But you have to have multiple eggs in your basket. Okay. So, yes, we can go to a big institution, but you've also got to recognize that a community development financial institution or a microloan or a small credit union, those places also are ready to give you money. And they are going to have easier qualifications than someplace like a Lendio or a Lending Tree, where they have millions of applications on a yearly basis. You see what I'm saying? So, we have to go where we are wanting and go where the competition is a little bit less because the advantages you have is that you're here with me you follow me and you're coming to class on Thursday so where other people may be going to search for you know a traditional loan that they find on the front page of Google where these companies are paying literally millions to be on the front page of Google you know that mm, okay, y'all can have that, but let me go, you know, behind here around the corner and find myself a micro loan, find myself a community development fund. So let's take a look real quick. So first let's find y'all some micro loans because I want you to understand how easy this is. So we're going to the SBA sites. Micro loans are defined as loans of up to $50,000, okay? And these are provided through SBA intermediaries, which basically means banks that are partnered with the SBA. And these are banks and credit unions, okay? These are banks and credit unions. So here we go, we're on the site. Find a micro lender. Hold on, let me turn my camera. YouTube, let me try to hold the phone at the same time. Hold on, let me put this on the tripod and do it like that. There we go. There we go. All right. So we're on the Small Business uh, Administration site list of micro lenders, and here are all the intermediaries. So as I mentioned, right, what this means is you've got to understand uh, getting a micro loan you are going to be working with one of the partner credit unions, one of the partner banks. But the great thing about this is once you get this first micro loan through the SBA, now you've built a relationship. So when you're ready to come and get more money, it's a phone call. It's an email because you've already gone through the process of getting approved once. So getting approved the second time is 10 times easier than getting approved the first time. All right. Comment got it in the chat if you got it. So here we're going to check a particular state. Let's just do Georgia. And here we have some micro lenders that are partnered with the SBA and giving micro loans in Georgia. Okay. And these are also in other states, but we've got access to Capital Ace, Ascendus, Lift Fund, Small Business Assistance Corporation, and you can also download this entire document, all right? So let's look at Florida and see. 
So we've got every single state here. Community Enterprise Investments, Black Business Investment Fund. We've got the phone number. We've got the email. We've got the website, the whole nine. So what this should tell you is the money is out there, right? Now, here's what I want you guys to understand with regard to bring this one back. Here's what I want you guys to understand with regard to, uh, I see North Carolina, let me pull it up. North Carolina, y'all have Ascendus as well, BizWorks, and Carolina Community Impact, okay? So when we go to these websites, what they're going to ask you for, microloans, typically you only need a 550 credit score to qualify, Um so they are going to ask you for your personal information, but you do not need to have excellent credit. This is a Carolina Community Impact is one that I'm reading. This promotes economic and community development by providing loans and financial services for small businesses, low to moderate income small businesses in North Carolina. So this is why this is important, okay? Microloans... CDFIs, they fill the gap, right? We know that a lot of time when you guys go to apply for these large loans, right, or these large companies, they want to see, okay, are you making $20,000 a month? Are you making $10,000 a month, $50,000 a month? And for many new businesses, that's not the case yet, right? You guys are working towards your first 5K a month, your first 10K a month, your first 20K a month. So what you want to be putting yourself in position to get funding with places that are here for you. Here's what y'all have to understand. These places exist a lot of the time, though, where you're not going to see this on the front page of Google, right? You're not going to see this on the front page of Google. Why? Because America is the capitalist place. So the companies who have the most money are the ones who are going to market to you. But these are specifically funded and typically in... Um, connection with the government, right? So the government is trickling down these money, these monies to these microloan institutions, to these CDFIs, and it's on us to find it. And that's why y'all with me, okay? Because I'm going to make sure that you find it. So here I'm going to the start the loan application just so you guys can see how simple it is. So Here's another thing I want you guys to recognize. When you are getting funding and you don't have the best credit, what you have to bring to the table is a business plan, okay? What you have to bring to the table is a business plan. And let me explain why. Let's think about it like this. You, you know, we got to come with something. OK, and you got to think of it as these lenders, these CDFIs, these micro loans, because they're not putting the pressure on you to have excellent personal credit. They understand, well, show me how your business has the potential to grow. Show me your projections. I want you guys to comment the word projections in the chat. Exactly, Mike. They pay for those ads. Comment the word projections. So here's what you have to realize. Yes, they're not putting extra emphasis on you having a high income or on you having high credit, but you have to give them something to make them see why they should believe in your business. So this is another thing we're going to talk about in class on Thursday is how to calculate your projections. And I'm going to give you guys the formula that I use, okay? Because you've got to be able to show them, hey, yes, I don't have the best personal credit. Yes, my business is new. But in my business plan, you can see where we're going, how we're going to get there, and why I need your $50,000 to make it happen. You see what I'm saying? So that is the trade-off, right? And at the end of the day, having a business plan is key for your business anyway, because it is your roadmap. So when you're approaching these lenders who are not putting an emphasis on personal credit and who are not putting an emphasis on, you know, your history and business, your business plan is what says, look, we're going somewhere. This business is on the way. Look at my projections. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. I just need your $50,000 to help me get there. And 80% of the time, 
that is what goes into it. So I'm here on the CDFI website and it's literally saying that you are going to provide your LLC information if you've been in business anywhere from zero to two years, your ID, obviously, you're going to provide um, any personal income that you make. So if you have a job and a business, right, something like that, um, and your business plan, okay? You do have to give your personal information just to show that you're a U.S. citizen or that you are a permanent resident, but those are the core qualifications that you are going to have to submit, and again, once you're in, you're in. This is what is so powerful about funding and understanding how to do it the right way. Yes, yeah, Cherise, get in the class. I'm sorry, I forgot to drop the link for y'all, but let me do it right now before um, we hop off. But this is what is so powerful about funding. And, you know, especially when you understand how to use it correctly and, you know, how much is based on a relationship. I want you guys to realize, even if the first loan that you get is $10,000, never look down on a loan. Never look down on the amount because what matters there is the relationship. So when y'all apply to these micro loans, after y'all come to class on Thursday, and you guys start this process of getting funding and you, you know, work on it and you stay consistent, even if that first loan that you get is $15,000. Remember what I'm telling you about the relationship. When you take good care of that first $5,000 loan or that first $10,000, $15,000 loan, you take good care of it. You make your payments. You do what you're supposed to do. The next time you need to come back, the next time you need to come back, your loan amount is going to be doubled or tripled. And that is because you, as a business owner who pays their loan and takes care of it, are more valuable than even a brand new customer. What you have to understand is once they give you money once and you show that you're, you can take care of the money and you can make your payments, they're going to give you money again. They're going to be calling you. Do you need another loan? Do you need another loan? How much you need right now? Can we give you some money? How much? How much you want? Tell us how much. Y'all, comment, cut the check in the chat. That's literally, you're just going to have to tell them to cut the check. Cut the check. I, yeah, hi. Um, yeah, I need 60000 this time. Oh, okay. Hold on. Just give us 24 hours. I'm not kidding you. I am not kidding you. I have been helping thousands of y'all get funding since 2021. Over $10 million funded. This is how it happens every time. So you have to realize that don't overlook that first loan, right? Don't overlook that first credit card. My first credit card with Chase was $5,000, okay? Not a whole lot of money. The second credit card that they offered me with no application was for $85,000. And that was a year later. Build the relationship. Take care of the loan. Make your payments, okay? That's all you've got to do. And once you're in the door, you're in the door. And that is even more the case when it comes to microloans and CDFIs because remember, they are, they benefit from having, um, let me pull this up. They benefit from having clients who come back, okay? One thing you have to understand with microloans and with CDFIs is that the more they can show, the more numbers they can show in terms of businesses that they have supported and businesses that they have given funds to, then they get an increase every year and are able to give more funding, all right? So YouTube, I'm about to drop this link Instagram, I'm about to give you guys the link to come to class on Thursday because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We're going to have a great class on Thursday, okay? Y'all know if you've ever been in any of my classes, whether free or paid, you know I don't play, okay? <laughs> 
So really quick, let me show you guys where to secure your seat before the links, uh, the seats are gone because the free classes do fill up quickly. So Instagram, really quick, you're just going to go to the link in my bio, YouTube as well. You can head to my Instagram. You're going to click on the first link, fully funded in 2024, secure your seat to my free class. It is on Thursday, secure your seat. One thing I do recommend that you do is you must add on the prep kit, okay? So as soon as you register, you're going to be shown the prep kit offer, which is four products in one for $30. So the course, the prep kit that you can print out, the projections formula, and the business plan template. You're going to want to get that. Okay, you're going to want to get all four of those. 30 bucks is a great deal. And this is going to help you be more successful in class and also outside of class. All right. So once you add that on for 37 bucks, put in your info and you'll be fully registered for class. So again, link here in my bio. Boom. Get funded. Ew. Fully funded. Secure your seat. Input your name, you know, all the goods so that I can send you the link to class. And then definitely make sure you add on the entire bundle, okay? The course, the prep kit, the projections formula, and the business plan template. That way you are ready for class, okay? Because I want you to be fully ready, not just a little bit ready, but fully ready. Okay, we want to be fully funded. So let me pull up. Okay, I see you guys registering. I think we officially have about 54 seats left. So as you are securing your seat, they are literally uh, getting, getting, getting uh, filled up. Okay. All right, Miss Lisa, you signed up. I just dropped the link for y'all on YouTube, Instagram. Go straight to the link in my bio and secure your seat. But what I really want you guys to gain from this and to further gain when we come to class is that you have options. Don't give up on your funding yet. Don't get discouraged at all. Okay, I know so many of you guys have dealt with denials. I know so many of you guys have even not tried because you're afraid of being denied. But you're here with your girl, okay? I've got you. You still have options. There is still a way. There is funding out there for you. You are going to be able to secure what you need to get to this next phase in your business. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this with funding and also how to do it with grants because both of these are great ways to get money into your business, all right? So you guys go to the link in my bio, secure your seat to class, and uh, add on your prep kit, okay? So you get the full bundle, and I will see you guys on Thursday, all right? Love y'all. Bye. All right, YouTube. You guys have the link right here, I think. I put it in the chat, but I don't know if you guys can see all. Y'all, yeah. okay. Um, but you guys are good. So sign up for class. You know where to find the link. Send me a DM on Instagram if you need help. Just send me a DM with the word class so that you can join. And then on Thursday, 